One of my favorites with that, with a partner, you're going to love this slash hate it. Come on down, John. Is grabbing a friend slash enemy or a frenemy, put them into this position. I would allow them to go ahead and get warmed up, to, uh, knees bent. And again, knees bent because if he straightens his legs out, he's going to get everything through his low back. Okay, so bend those knees to lock the pelvis. Now from this position, go ahead and go through it a couple times on your own. I'd let him kind of get warmed up, make sure he's you know ready for what I'm about to, about to give him. So let's pretend that John's ready to go, okay? This can be done in a couple ways. We're going to show it a couple different ways, but if you've got a buddy, the simplest thing to do is just to give them a little traction. I'm just pulling ever so slightly. And it may be enough. And he's got to give me feedback. Is this enough or is this too much? And if he can handle it, the really cool one is to yeah, I can handle it. Cool heart is to traction and drop him down. Oh, God. Traction <laughs> and down. And every once in a while, if he is nice and relaxed, and see how I'm just moving him all the way along the spine? And then he could reset. So scoot all the way back down to where the ball is kind of at the top of your shoulder blades. Scoot all the way back down. So you can either track him in one vertebrae at a time all the way up, or if he's got a hot spot and he knows he's tight, then just, just try and stay in that one spot. So you can just track him and drive, and you want him comfortably breathing. If he's not comfortably breathing, then you're maybe giving a little too much snort. And I would say, John, don't push my way, don't let me, don't help pull. Yeah. So it's good. It feels really good. The idea with this is to create that traction. Okay? So if, if he's trying to push my way, it's taking away that elongation effect. And I usually use the analogy of an accordion. So the thoracic spine is now an accordion. And throughout the day of being a desk jockey or a body worker, I, I'm a body worker slash chiropractor or a trainer, I still live here all day long. And my thoracic spine is still crunched down. I still drive a car here. It's usually more like, like this, right? But that, we, we all live there. And so that accordion effect gets kind of compressed and rolled forward. So we need to open that accordion up and provide that thoracic spine with some movement. Ways of substituting that if you don't have a frenemy at your side is you grab something like a barbell or a kettlebell just to, just to have something to anchor your arms to the floor just to provide you with a little traction. So now you can lie in that same position. You can come back into your snatch grip or your overhead squat grip and either roll or just try and, act, we talk active shoulders, right? And everybody in the CrossFit world, the only lifting world talks active shoulders. Do your active shoulders here and see what that feels like. And see what your rib cage wants to do. And then put that in your memory bank as to what you may be doing when you're actually upright, okay? So we're gonna start there. The, the global version, the larger version, is sign. really the exact same thing, but now you're gonna use, now you're gonna use a uh, foam roller. And we're not rolling like we do, like you typically see most personal trainers teach. We're not just gonna get in here and just, just roll away, because that's still curving our spine, and that accordion is still compressed. So again, go back into trying to drop that rib cage and come back. And now you can do your flutters. You can even roll when your arms are above your head a little bit. I personally love it. You can come back, grab your bar, hips up, Lower your rib cage and your hips down. Let the head come back and try and relax. Now from here, if my knuckles are trapped on the ground, I can actually traction and pull away, or I can let the bar roll with me. Okay? Another easy version of that is to simply use a med ball, just for simplicity. I personally love this one, just let it roll back and forth. 